You're stupid. I'm stupid. We're all stupid. That's right. But the difference between the stupid guy who wins and the stupid guy who loses is persistence. It's not your coding skills or how well you solve a complex math problem. Logan Wallace here, and look, everyone has this misconception that you have to be super intelligent to be successful. That's not the difference between a winner and a loser. Yeah, it helps. But let me paint a picture for you. Let's say you know how to code software. And hypothetically speaking, let's say you created an application that can help a particular industry. So you decide to present your software to one company within that industry. But that company tells you they are interested. They don't know why. Could have been the budget. Could have been that your presentation sucked. Could have been anything. But you decide to go home. And you felt like this is all just a waste of your time. So you quit on the software and decide to keep to yourself again. But little did you know, there was an employee at your presentation that thought your idea was really good. And so what does he do? He decides to hire a software developer to make an application just like yours. And he does what you did. He presents it to a company and guess what? He gets rejected too, just like you did. But he doesn't stop there, no. He keeps going and going and going until he finally gets a yes from another company. And that yes got him a deal for $50,000 to license the software to them. And he's not stopping there. He's going to keep going. But he wasn't smart. He didn't write the software or do any coding. In fact, he stole the idea from you. Good artists copy, great artists steal. Pablo Picasso. Because here's the thing, the difference between you and him was persistence. He kept going, you gave up. So you gotta ask yourself, is it worth it? Is giving up on your dream worth it? See, I was watching an interview of Will Smith the other day on YouTube, and he said something that most people sadly will never get. I mean, what he said has the power to really change your life, and it just goes over most people's heads. And I'll never forget this. He said, you can be stronger than him. You can be bigger than him. You can be more intelligent than he is. But if you and Will Smith were to compete on a treadmill, one of these two things will happen. A, either you're getting off or B, he's going to die. And that's it, folks. That's persistence. See, life is a game. Let's face it. Life is a game of competition and there will always be somebody getting out competed. See, you could have the perfect strategy, the perfect opportunity, but if you don't have persistence to the point that you're willing to die in order to outcompete others, if you don't have that persistence, then I'm sorry, but you're the one that's going to get outcompeted every single time. And most people forget that. Most people forget that life, down to the very core, natural selection, life is a competition. Now, are you going to acknowledge that and step up? Or are you going to ignore it? And let me tell you something, being lazy and ignoring the fact that there's competition isn't going to change a thing. The competition is still going to be there. You're just going to be losing. And if you're fine with that, then by all means, do you. Just stay really, really far away from me. Because you know what? I enjoy hanging with the winners. Because winners understand the value of persistence. Winners understand the value of hard work. And if you don't understand that, then I don't want you on my side. Because you know what? I can't relate to you. And I know that sounds harsh, but this is a wake-up call. The truth isn't always pretty. I was there, so broke I had to ask for rides for my friends to get to work. Most of the time I was walking through rain, through a blizzard. So broke, I couldn't even afford to provide anything for my family. And even as a teen, I was so broken. I had no confidence. 
I couldn't even approach the girl I liked in high school. I was wearing handed down clothing from my cousins. And they were big, so the clothes were like blankets on me. I was embarrassed. I didn't want to approach any girl looking like that. My mother couldn't afford anything else. Instead, I got to watch the cool kid take my crush to prom with his fancy Audi. And even after high school, I was still broke. I cried a little inside every time Christmas came around because I was always stuck between two choices. Make next month's rent or buy presents for all of my family and then take my girlfriend out. And I cried. Because believe me, I wanted to give. Because that's who I am. I'm a giver. 